Hey guys, welcome back. This is an analysis and overview of the basic attention token ICO, which is scheduled for May 31st, 2017. I'm your host, King Adu of Do News. Let's get right to it. This is part four of a four part series. The first part was an introduction to BAT. Video two was a roadmap overview. Part three, we looked at the allocation of funds, and we also took a quick look at the leadership team. Uh, part four is gonna be the part you've all been waiting for, the actual numbers, and uh, whether or not I recommend it. My opinion strictly, as I am not a financial advisor, but it's also my professional opinion as a e-commerce professional and full-time digital marketer. So let's get right to it. Token launch summary. Our goal is to raise a maximum of $15 million and a minimum of $4 million. So they will, without a doubt, raise all $15 million based on the past ICOs that I guarantee. In fact, I actually expect this one to be one of the fastest we've ever seen, probably under 20 minutes. So if this is something you're interested in, um, you've got to make sure you're ready to go when the time comes. Maximum financing, 175,000 Ether. So that's the maximum Ether that they're gonna finance with a minimum of 47.5. I think finance is kind of a funny word here, but essentially um, that's how much Ether they're gonna be looking at. Again, they'll maximize it out to 15 million and it'll just depend on the exchange rate at the time. So one Ether should get you roughly about 4,000 BATs. Um, Basically, if Ether is $90, it's gonna come out to about 44 cents at that time per token. So just keep that in mind so you're not freaking out when it's like, you know, you didn't expect it to be that low. Um, that's essentially what you're paying for. Um, the contract address to which you send your funds to will be released on the site leading up to the actual ICO. Um, the token launch time frame is set for 30 days but it's gonna take a couple minutes, so just keep that in mind, guys. Um, token distribution. Brave is going to take 20% of the maximum, which is 200 million BAT. There is a user growth pool. Uh, essentially, they're setting aside uh, 100 million BATs for marketing purposes so that they can say sign up and get five free BAT um, and things of that nature um, which is gonna be helpful and you know will help kickstart it it'll attract people in the uh, cryptocurrency world I'm not sure outside of that so much um, but that's what that is for what's also nice about the user growth pool is that um, BAT received as a reward can only be used in the system. So they'll never be able to cash it out and take it to a marketplace. They have to spend it there, which is an interesting concept. Any BAT that is not used in this program will essentially get recycled until eventually it's all gone. Existing Brave users, so I've used Brave, so this is me. Um, I will actually be able to uh, do an update uh, on the app, verify a phone number, and get some free BAT myself. So I'm already, I'm already in the game. I'm already signed up and ready to go. So uh, keep that in mind. If you haven't tried out the browser, go do so, and uh, you'll be ready to go. Maybe get some free BAT. No new tokens will be created once the user growth pool is exhausted. I don't like the way that they stated that here. I want, I mean, there's two ways you can read this, right? So you can basically read this as they're only referring to the growth pool and how they're never gonna add to it. But that's not what they say. They're, they're using the word created. Um, An ICO is to create the token. They state that they're never gonna create tokens again, but right here they say no new tokens will be created once the user growth pool is exhausted. So does that mean they can create more BAT for marketing purposes? I don't know. Just something to keep in mind. It's just maybe it's, maybe it's the way, way I'm reading it, um, and you can read it for yourself in the white paper. But just something to keep in mind. That's 
It's a little kind of quirky and makes me a tiny bit uncomfortable, but in the scheme of things, it's probably not a big deal. Um, it's probably just the way that it was read. So, okay. So that's it. Time for the big reveal. Does the King of Dew recommend? Um, I've got a few key concerns, and I think they actually are quite valid. The first one is, is I'm actually, as an advertiser, I'm in the industry, I'm using advanced tools, I'm using programmatic advertising, I use artificial intelligence, I'm in the know on this kind of stuff. My professional opinion is that they cannot accurately track attention. There's probably some methodologies and some science and some philosophy and some psychology and all kinds of quirky things that, sure, you could probably come close, but the truth is, is when it comes to data and analytics in the marketing world, there's already so many things that you're never quite 100% sure of, and attention is a good example of one that's really hard. You know, um, when I'm serving a video, typically we want to track how long someone's watching the video for, right? The longer, the better. But let's be real, I don't know if that really equates to someone's attention. Oftentimes, when I get stuck watching a video, that's when I go grab a Mountain Dew. Uh, you don't have my attention. How are they going to know, right? And I've read things like you can track the movement of the mouse and etc. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. But I don't see enough value there in that data to me as an advertiser to pay any kind of premium. So I want to remove all of that. Here's what I'm interested in as an actual advertiser. I'm actually interested in affordable, cost-effective inventory. Inventory being essentially people to serve ads to, right? Uh, traffic, page loads. If the Brave browser has lots of traffic, lots of people using it essentially, you'll find me there as long as the advertising is cost-effective, as long as at the end of the day I'm driving traffic and getting sales, right? That's what it comes down to. That's business, guys. We're talking about an investment. That's business 101. My perspective as an advertiser, I just want to make money. So, number two, my number two concern. These tokens are 100% a speculative bet. What are you betting on? Think about it. What is it you're actually betting on? We're not even talking about a token or an ecosystem. None of that. That's all. Put all of that aside. That comes for free if there's traffic, right? Google Chrome has value because of all the people that use it. It has an ecosystem because of all the people that use it. When we talk about BAT, it all comes down to the Brave browser and nothing else. I hate to say it, but it feels like BAT ICO is really just a marketing ploy to try to get new, innovative, forward-thinking people to try a new browser and get it adopted and you know, increase the value of the browser. So I don't know, are they going to flip it someday? Are they going to sell it to somebody? Maybe get bought out? I don't know. So that's difficult for me because as much as I love Brave, I don't make it my mission to go around telling people, use this browser, right? And I'm, I still am validating the browser, personally. You know, I'm still using it. I've read reviews that over time it gets slower, so I'm, I'm committing to it to find out if this is true or maybe it's a bug or, you know, maybe they've improved it. But, you know, I'm still trying to, to make my own judgment. I enjoy the browser very much right now. I really like the idea of being safe on the Internet and my privacy is protected and, you know, it does a good job of protecting me and then it also removes ads and I don't like ads and I don't trust the ads that are being served to my family. So it's nice to be able to know there's a browser that basically right out the gate is going to block all these ads. That's really cool and everything. Um, but besides that, I just, you know, I don't go around recommending browsers very often. 
I have recommended it to team members I work with, and they've tried it out, and they're enjoying it. Um, mostly I did that because I'm selfish and wanted some feedback. But that's it. That's what you're betting on. You're betting on that Brave is going to be massively adopted, that everyone's going to want to try it, everyone's going to use it. Now, you have a little bit of a side bet, but here's the reality of the side bet, and I'm sure you're thinking this. Um, I've read a few times that they, they plan on potentially doing like a Chrome extension. Okay. Okay, cool. That means your market is basically people who use Chrome who are familiar with extensions. I feel like every day I'm telling people, hey, did you know you can actually add this an extension for this? There's a whole entire marketplace. Maybe you watching, you're not even aware of that, but there's a whole entire marketplace of things you can kind of plug into your Chrome browser, right? So if they did that, guess what? You're still relying on people to download it, to buy into this system. I just have trouble believing that, it, that that's ever going to happen. At the end of the day, we're talking about investing your Ether. So ask yourself, I'm going to put in this one Ether. Is my return going to be greater if I just held on to the Ether and didn't put it into this particular ICO? Guys, there's going to be plenty of ICOs out there. So, I can't recommend it. It's only my opinion. If you do it, I'm going to root for you. But I'd rather hold on to my single Ether because I think it's going to do just fine by itself. Here's what I believe the Brave team should do that they're not doing. I believe that Brave, instead of launching this token and going down this route of BAT and creating a new ecosystem, they should just make their browser run dApps, decentralized applications, and market it as the browser that can connect to the new internet. Now I know that's not going to resonate in the short term because this is so new, but guess what? It's still a fantastic browser. So it can fulfill both needs. It can be marketed and positioned that way. And then it sounds cool. You guys got to remember that like Firefox was like the rebellious browser at one point. Like at one time it was like against the rules at school to like download this browser and use it because the IT guys didn't understand what it was. Right? Oh, it's going to, you know, what is this software? It's surfing the web and, like, going to get all these viruses and, right? So that's where we're at, guys. That's my recommendation for BAT, Basic Attention Token. And I hope that you guys do your own analysis. I've said it in every video so far. If you haven't used the Brave browser, do not invest a dime because you literally don't know what you're investing in. And I hope that makes more sense now that you understand what you're investing in is a bet. You're betting that BAT and the Brave browser both somehow magically get wildly adopted by the entire planet. <laughs> now, I understand that it could be a sliver um and it still could be successful, right? Like, just the crypto community could sign on and start using it. Sure. But guess what, guys? I'm a digital marketing director, and I have no intent of targeting the cryptocurrency audience anytime soon with anything that I advertise. And I work with about 30 to 40 premium brands. You guys just aren't my target market. I'm not sure whose target market you are, to be honest, <laughs> right? Um, I guess some GPUs, uh, AMD would want to target you, maybe sell you some mining equipment. Pretty smart, right? They're probably not doing that. They should be. But anyhow, guys, 
that's my recommendation. I hope you guys enjoyed these four videos. Um, I really um, am overwhelmed by the amount of views and likes and kind words that I'm getting, and I really appreciate it. I want to do a shout out to whoever it is that's upvoting me on Steemit with as much reputation as you have. I can't tell you how amazing that is. Um, you're essentially the first person to donate because it, it, it's so much. I, I don't know how to say thank you enough and I really appreciate it. So whoever you are out there, thank you from the bottom of my heart. The rest of you, make sure you upvote this. Leave a comment or a question. I'll get back to it in one of my regular news debriefs or briefs or whatever you want to call it. And um, make sure you go to Steam It down below in this description. Go to Steam It. You can actually follow me there as well. Shoot me an upvote. It really helps a lot. And um, that's it, guys. Again, I'm King Adu. Make sure you subscribe if you like this content. Um, you guys inspire me to do more every time you hit subscribe. So if you want more of it, that, that really encourages me. So please hit subscribe. And until next time, guys, I'm King of Dew, and may the force be with you.